New York City police disgusted after they say two of their own were assaulted in Times Square by a group made up of mostly migrants in the U.S. illegally over the weekend. You saw the video. Reprehensible. Cowards. In the video, you can see two cops telling a group of people to keep it moving along the sidewalk. Moments later, a scuffle as the officers attempt to apprehend the man in the yellow jacket when they all crash to the ground. Then several people can be seen swarming the officers, throwing punches and kicking the officers in the face as they wrestle with the man in the yellow jacket. The entire attack lasts about 25 seconds before the crowd disperses. So far, police arrested five people. The four that were arrested should be sitting in Rikers right now, on bail, should be indicted this week and taken off our streets. Most of the assailants are back on the streets. As the Manhattan District Attorney's Office said, four of the five suspects have been released without bail. They're charged with assault on a police officer, gang assault, and disorderly conduct. According to the DA, they're facing a maximum of seven years in prison. New York Governor Kathy Hochul was asked if the suspects should be deported. I think that's absolutely something that should be looked at. I mean, if someone commits a crime against a police officer in the state of New York, um, and they're not, you know, they've not processed, they're not here legally, definitely worth checking into. According to the Straight Arrow News Media Miss Tool, this story is a miss for left-leaning media outlets, as it's mostly being covered by right-leaning media outlets. The media landscape indicates that while right-leaning outlets are covering this story, fewer left-leaning and center-oriented outlets are reporting the topic. SAN's real-time media mist tool spotlights which stories right-leaning and left-leaning outlets aren't covering to provide a complete picture of the news. The suspects arrested range in age from 19 to 24. Investigators are still looking through surveillance video and interviewing witnesses to see if more arrests need to be made. Prosecutors say more charges could be brought in the case.